Quen Image Edit 2509 just dropped. It is a free, open source AI that you can install and run locally. I'm pretty sure this model will outperform Google Nano Banana and Sea Dream 4, which are currently top of the line, but this one is completely free and unlimited to use. Quen Image Edit 2509 is the latest upgrade to Quen's image editing model. It adds multi-image editing, so you can combine people, products, and scenes. For single images, it improves consistency faces stay the same across poses, products keep their identity in posters, and text can be edited in content, font, color, and even material. All right, let's check out some examples of this model in action. We'll see what it can do with different prompts and images, test how good the results are, and edit them together. Now, these prompts are originally in Chinese, so I ran it through a translator. The left one says, the girl from image two is sunbathing on the lounge chair from image one. The right one says, the girl from image two is drinking coffee on the sofa from image one. Look at these results. The girl's face remains exactly the same. Her features, her outfit, everything stays perfectly consistent. Check out the shadows in the background and here's what's really impressive. Look at the girl's shadow. It actually follows the same direction as the shadows already in the reference image. The AI understands where the sun is positioned and maintains that lighting consistency throughout. And on the right side image too, the girl still looks completely consistent and the output follows the prompt exactly. The attention to detail is incredible. And here's the next example. Image editing in the model showcase, the top right prompt says, the girl from image two has the bag from image one slung over her shoulder. The bottom right prompt says, the girl from image one is standing next to the car from image two. Now let's look at image editing using key point pose, basically pose transfer. What's happening here is we have a stick figure as our pose reference, and the AI makes the girl copy that exact pose. On the left, the prompt says, the girl in image two changes to the pose of image one. On the right, it gets more complex. The girl in image two changes to the pose of image one and the background is changed to the forbidden city and she holds the hat in her hand. Image editing and character placement. Here we have three images and the prompt is the girl from image one and the girl from image two are drinking coffee on the sofa from image three. And the output looks great. It's able to keep everything consistent. Really impressive how it maintains all those elements perfectly. Image editing in avatar creator. This is the input image, and here are the prompts. First prompt, modify to a blue background ID photo. The person wears a white shirt, a black suit, and a striped tie. Next prompt, the person wears a white shirt, a gray suit, and a striped tie. One hand is touching the tie, and the background is a light color. And finally, the person is wearing a black hoodie with the bold stroke character's Kian Wen image. He is leaning against a railing with sunlight on his hair and a large bridge and the sea behind him. Check out how the person remains perfectly consistent throughout all these different variations. Same face, same features, just different outfits and settings. Pretty impressive consistency. And here's another amazing thing with, with just one image, we can ask the AI to create the person doing anything. With this image here, the first prompt says, she raises both hands with palms facing the camera and fingers spread, making a playful pose. The second one, she uses both hands to make a heart shape. And the third, she uses both hands to pick up a blackboard with Welcome to the Yunchi Conference written on it, and it perfectly executes all these actions without any flaws. The character stays completely consistent. Every single detail remains the same. It's incredible how it maintains that consistency while generating these different poses. On the left side are the input images, and on the right side are the outputs. The same prompt was used on different characters, a man, a woman, an anime character, and an animal. And they all follow the prompt perfectly. The prompt is change to a happy expression with one finger pointing forward and write the artistic characters I support, Tongyi, Kiamwen. And here's another example for image editing in virtual scenes. This is the input image. And the prompt is this man is wearing a black t-shirt and is facing the camera at a three-quarter angle. On the whiteboard behind him is written, one Quen Images technical roadmap, exploring the limits of the foundational visual generation model, pioneering a future that integrates understanding with generation. Two Quen Images model features, 
One complex text rendering supports mixed Chinese and English automatic layout too. Precise image editing supports text editing, object edition removal, and style transformation. Three, Quen Images Future Vision, empowering professional content creation and assisting the development of generative AI. Since I don't read Chinese, I can't confirm if it generated the text correctly or not, but it seems like it did manage to create something, just not sure about the accuracy. Plus, we can enhance colors to make them more vibrant, bump up the saturation for a more vivid look, and the tool can even restore old damaged photos. Another impressive creation, here's how it works for creative goods. It starts with a simple input image. In this case, a bear character. With just this one picture, we can ask the AI to transform it in different ways. For example, tell the AI, make the bear sit under the moonlight holding a guitar with little stars and a speech bubble that says, be kind. It understands this description and instantly generates a brand new version of the bear, exactly as requested. Then we can go one step further, placing the new design onto real products. Here you can see the bear printed on a t-shirt, a shopping bag, even modeled as a toy figure next to a computer screen. In short, the process is simple. Input one image, describe what you want, and it creates different versions that can be directly used on creative goods. There's so much more we can create with this model. Look how precisely it changes and modifies everything. Now let's look at how it can even handle calligraphy editing. It begins with a real photo of traditional Chinese calligraphy written on paper, arranged vertically from right to left, just like in authentic works. Next, the characters to be changed are highlighted, one in a red box and another in a blue box. After that, the AI is simply instructed on what to replace them with. It then rewrites those characters seamlessly, matching the brush style, ink flow, and overall look of the original piece. The result is a perfectly edited calligraphy work where the new characters blend so naturally that it's almost impossible to tell they were ever modified. And finally, let's see how it edits text on objects. It begins with a photo of a person holding a test tube. Next, the area to be changed is marked with a red mask to indicate where the new text will appear. The AI is then given instructions, in this case, to replace it with handwritten Chinese text placed centrally on the tube in blue ink, matching the style of existing labels. Finally, the text is updated again, this time with English words, blood sample A, written clearly and horizontally near the top. Now let's use and try it out. Let's compare it with Nano Banana since it's the best model right now. It scores better than Sea Dream 4. At the time of making this video, it's still not in Comfy UI, but since this is open source, it will be available in Comfy UI soon. Let's use the same input image and same prompt in both Quinimage Edit 259 and Nano Banana. I'm going to use Hugging Face for now. I dropped in two meme pics and wrote this prompt. Using the reference images of the man and the child, create a vibrant carousel ad image of them happily enjoying a creamy milkshake together. Highlight the milkshake as the main focus with realistic, appetizing details. The background should be bright and inviting with a fun, family-friendly... Using the same reference image of the man and the kid, Run the same prompt in Google AI Studio. Let's try one more prompt, make the child's hair green and the man's hair yellow, and have them posing for a photo at the Great Wall of China. Google Nano Banana. Which one do you think is better? Right now, since I'm using Hugging Face, I don't want to run too many tests. This isn't the most thorough way to make a proper comparison, so I won't draw any conclusions just yet. But take a look for yourself. I'll run a few more examples and then call it a day. A full comparison and guide will be coming soon, but I'm pretty sure Quen Image Edit 259 is the best. There are also plenty of AI model updates in Quen that I'm not covering right now, as well as some that haven't been released yet, but they're on the way. I'll share all the updates, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything.